In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to make a knowledge base using PDF file. Maybe you have some three or four PDFs for your company and you want to give the response based on this PDF to your customer on the chat setup. And this is the easiest way. You do not have to make any kind of backend setup. We do not need any kind of vector setup. And I think this is uh, preferable for many customers that are building chat but for their businesses because they do not have a lot of data if you have a lot of data then the vector database is necessary but if you have maybe three or four pdfs with the data or maybe you can customize make some pdf like this one and you can you want to give response based on this pdf so this video is for you and i'm going to show you from start to end how you can make this so you might don't know but there is a ai assistant inside your open ai api so if we go here and uh, on your OpenAI API dashboard, you can see this option assistance. So here you can create custom assistance for your AI agent. As I have already have a agent AB, but I'll be going to show you from the scratch. So just go to your assistance, then create. And from here, you will uh, create a new assistant name. Let's give a name test. And uh, you do, we, do, we do not have to. Uh, give any instruction here because we will be giving the instruction inside our n810 so we don't have to always come to change the instruction here in the open ai we just keep it blank and then we will op use this option you, you can see this option file search so this is the file search option and you can see what kind of files you can use inside this so here you can see the option what file are supported in this a tool in this uh, C, C plus and all the all, all kind of file the PSP, PPT and also PDF and text file. So you can upload any kind of this text file and they will automatically create a rag database for you. So you don't have to customize the setup this in your uh, other database or maybe you can manage uh, with a large database. We do not need anything. We just simply upload our PDF or PPT file inside this. So this is our test assistant and here we enable this file search and then click on file upload our files in my case i'm just going to use one file that's it so once you upload this file what happened it will automatically convert your pdf file to a vector database so if you just click on at us you can see they have created this vector store for test so this is our test file so now uh, our assistant successfully created so this is our uh, test assistant and this is our assistant id so now we are going to use uh, na10 to build the setup so just to go here create a new chat message so we'll be triggering uh, this as a simple chat if you want you can use telegram or any other platform maybe whatsapp to give the support to your customer so i'm just going to for this tutorial i'm going to use the chat feature then click here and go to open ai and from here we are not going to open ai chat model we are going to use open ai message and assistant so it will it will automatically communicate with the assistant that we build here so i'm just going to use this message and assistant from here you need to give the assistant id just go to id and then copy the id here and paste it that's it now you for the prompt we will be using custom prompt here so this is the option where we will write our prompt so now i'm just going to copy the prompt so this is the prompt that i have written for this project as you can see this is i just explain how you want to talk with the person and everything is written here and you can find all my prompt details in the description below you can just copy from here so this is the exact prompt that I used for this project and you can just pause the video or type it out or you can just go to my uh, description and there is a link to get this full project. Uh, you can also get it from here and copy and paste it. That's it. So this is our prompt written here. Now I am going to test this but before that we will be adding uh, a memory to the chat. So just click here and go to simple memory and that we can just give it a 20 that's it's, it's not necessary but uh, it will better if you use the memory so chat can replay faster so that's it now we'll save this now we're going to test the chat hi so as you can see it's uh, giving the response so i'm just going to ask uh, some basic question based on the pdf that i given so let me show you the pdf so we have some information here 
let's say let's see what information we can ask in the chat i'm going to show you the example how it reply so we can ask that uh, how how much uh, health insurance we need uh, what is what insurance we need so i asked the board that uh, what insurance we need and it will automatically search my pdf that i uploaded there and it should give a replay so as you can see i have successfully get the details uh, of that question that what insurance service we need and it will search my pdf you can see this is the pdf file he search he also give a reference here and this is the number but the problem is as you can see they are giving a reference just right here but we don't want to show this here we want to remove this so to remove this one you have to add some code here i'm just going to click open and go to code tools and then we, we have to give some codes here so we give a short description so this is uh, our code tool and here we will be running a javascript uh, that code is uh, this you can copy and paste it and this code will allow you to remove that response from here so if we execute a setup and let's see how it works so this was our last message i'm just going to save it and check it here again open chat i'm just going to text it again let's see how it works so as you can see it's running it should remove this text and just give us all need the text response we, we do not want any kind of annotation so as you can see we have successfully removed this annotation and it's not giving anymore and we have the plain text so this is the basic way and the fastest way you can use any pdf files as a knowledge base for your project and as you can see we have only uploaded one knowledge base here if you want you can upload more knowledge base and uh, you can add more files just uploading new files here and it will be giving response uh, on this so that's it for this tutorial so you understand how you can create the basic setup to use some three or four pdfs to uh, give the response without any kind of vector database or any backend setup so i hope you like this video if you like the video please hit the subscribe button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i will see you guys in the next video